Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Mirador webinar on securing iOS devices in Mirador Online. My name is Sean Brennan, and I'm a marketing specialist here at Mirador. And let's have a look at the agenda. First, our technical director, Walter Kekki, will run through a demonstration, and I'll tell more about that shortly. Then we're going to follow up with a Q&A session here with Valtteri to answer questions. So feel free to type your questions in the question box during the demonstration. Then um, just a few remarks. So a bit more about the demonstration content. Valtteri is going to um, show you how to manage passcodes, uh, locking and wiping the device, enabling the loss modes, and finally, a walkthrough of a lost device scenario. So I will now hand it over to Valtteri to do the demonstration. Fantastic. Thank you, Sean. <clears throat> I believe I've now been made the presenter, so I'm now showing my screen as well. Uh, can you see it, Sean? Can you confirm? I can, indeed. All right, perfect. Um, as Sean said, my name is Valtteri Kekki. I'm the technical director here in Mirador, and today we're going to take a look at a bit of the basic features of our, uh, of our free MDM solution, mainly how to secure your devices. As you can see from my screen, I'm now logged on to my Mirador site here. And the first thing I might want to do is, as I'm on in the devices view, find my own device for the for this exercise. So search by name, and sure enough, we find my iPhone from the list. Now, if we open it up, <coughs> then we can check whether it's got any issues in there. And sure enough, we see that. The encryption status is disabled and it doesn't have a passcode set. So this creates a clear liability for us, since if we lose this device, then we might be losing precious company data. Well, how to start making things happen for this then is we might create a configuration profile. And here in the configuration profiles menu is where we'll do that. So in the Actions pane, hit on the Create tool. Now, as my my device was an iOS one, and that was the topic for this seminar, let me choose this iOS platform as this uh, or the platform of this passcode. Hit on Next on the wizard, and choose the passcode profile. Now, the same flow could be used to create any of these, be it restrictions, deploying web clips, Wi-Fi profiles, or app white and blacklist for the, for the enterprise plan features. But here we're sticking to the basic MDM. So a simple value of four characters is just fine for us. Even a normal basic pin code is much better than nothing. And I'm sending the profile removal not to be allowed, so I won't be able to remove the passcode profile. Hit on next, create a name for it. So give it a name and a description. Demonstration pin code will work for us. Like so. And now we've created it. And then we can, there's several options for deployment. We can find it here. So find it from this list here. And we can use this deploy tool from here, here on Actions Pane. Or we can go back to the devices menu, find the devices we want. So if we wanted to deploy to multiple ones, for example, all of our fleet, we could use the deploy tool here. But since I'm only interested in my iPhone, I'll use the, it just for that one. 
So hit on the deploy tool here. I'll then get to choose the profile. So demonstration pin code. Hit next. Deploy. And that's it. Now if we then open up the device to see what's actually going on over there. Find it again. Give it a click. And wait for it to open for just a couple of seconds. Maybe there's a slight lag for some reason, but here we go. If we go to the events tab, we see that the device reported nine seconds ago. Firstly, we see that the passcode has completed, but on the main page, we still see that the encryption status is still disabled and the passcode has not been set. Now, exactly why this is, is that iOS gives me an hour's grace period. So in the background, I've now set my passcode. And if we then sync the device, so using the sync now tool, causing the device to report back immediately, it'll give us the inventory information like so and then wait for a few seconds again for the post back to happen and then let's see if the up update is already happened or do we have to wait for it just a second for the inventory service to do us a favor yep still a few more seconds so just reload the page once more so we see the passcode is has been deployed under configuration profiles still not updated the security due to there probably be a bit of background traffic so the inventory are not getting updated immediately but try once more and perhaps still once and sure enough after a while, we see that the passcode has now been enabled. It, the device is automatically encrypted. And everything is now fine and dandy. If I lose this device, I can be fairly certain that unless it's unlocked, I won't be leaking company data. Now, if I know for a fact that I've lost it and it's been unlocked, then locking is the next logical step. I've left it somewhere, I'm not exactly sure, per perhaps a table in a cafe. And just run the lock device action here from the security pane. And after that completes, which is immediately, can already see that device locking. And here we can verify it. If we go to the events pane, we see the security task is ready, meaning the device is now locked. Now, if I then know that it's been thoroughly lost, there are a couple of options. Firstly, <clears throat> enabling the lost mode is a powerful one. So if I do this, I get to set up a message for the device. So say, this device has been locked, give it a phone number, so if somebody finds it, this is the one action they'll be able to do, so call a phone number. And since it's my device, let's put mine on there. 
And there's also footnote. And finally, we can enable location tracking as well. And just like so, <coughs> we see that it immediately posted back the lost mode has been enabled and now nothing can be done except to call that one number that is on the device. And then when I actually find it back, all I have to do is disable the lost mode and it's then back in use. Like so. Just walk through the wizard here. And finally, my device then informs me that the phone has also been located during the lost mode. Now, next problem is, and, and this is a fairly common one for users, what happens if I've, uh, I know where my device is, I know it's actually <clears throat> with me or the proper user, but what do I do if the passcode has been forgotten? And for that scenario, we've got the clear passcode tool right here. All I have to do is run this. And I can then proceed to open up my device without a passcode. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Your basic security features, setting the passcode, having the ability to lock the device, it enabling disabling the lo location or the lost mode, clearing the passcode, and then finally, <clears throat> if I seriously know this device has been irrecoverably lost, then we can also use the wipe tool as a final solution. Great. Uh, thank you, Walter. It is an excellent demonstration. Um, so now it's uh, time for the Q&A part of our session where uh, Walter is going to uh, answer the questions. And uh, I see we have a few. So um, I'll, I'll start with the, the first one that was here. Um, is it possible to lock wipe the device when there is just a slow internet connection? That's a very good question. Um, thank, thanks for that. And it indeed is. It does require a connection, but the bandwidth used is very minimal. So what, if the device is online, it'll more or less within a second or two respond to the commands. If it happens so that it's offline at that moment, then the next time the device comes online, the actions will immediately run. Okay. Um, another question we've got here is, what is the loss mode that is uh, shown to a person finding a device? Yes, exactly. So, as I demonstrated here previously, fine walk through the wizard once more, then here I can, for the lost mode, configure the message that can be, that will be shown. There's a single screen that will be shown to anyone that finds the device. There's a message, there's a footnote, and a single phone number that the user or the finder of the device will be able to call. And that's as simple as it gets. Nothing can be done on the device, it's effectively locked apart from the ability to call this one phone number. Okay, great. Thanks for that. And uh, one final question uh, we see here. Um, is it possible to reset the passcode if the user has forgotten it? So from the administrator of the MDM. For iOS, we don't support resetting, meaning we, you cannot configure a preset passcode using the clear tool. We can clear the passcode only. As for Android devices, and apologize for going beyond the scope here, for Android devices, we also have the ability to force a certain passcode or reset it to be something that only the administrator knows. 
Great. Well, um, as I see uh, no more uh, questions here, um, I, I think we'll uh, close today. Oh, I, I see we actually do have another question. Let's continue. Uh, do you have this same feature in Android? The lost mode is only for iOS. Apart from that, then the passcode, the ability to reset the passcode is essentially there. The location tracking also works for Android and just as for iOS, it doesn't even require, uh, doesn't even require the uh, um, lost mode. However, for the location tracking to work, you do need to have the business plan. So it's not a part of the free MDM. Indeed. <clears throat> Would there be any more questions from our audience? Still wait a minute here. Uh, if anyone would have any more questions. I think that might be it then. That actually might be it. So, <clears throat> once again, everyone, uh, thank you for attending. And thank you, Walter, for the excellent demonstration. Uh, we're going to have a transcript of this Q&A session sent out to uh, everyone who attended, along with the video uh, to the link of the recording of the webinar. So, um, Thanks again, and don't forget to join us next Thursday at the same time for our uh, webinar on application deployment for iOS. So thank you very much, and have a great rest of your week. On my behalf as well, thanks very much for attending. Have a great day and rest of the week. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.